You're right everyone, it's Ace here from Romany Custom Catapults. So another little build to show you all here. And the first thing I'm going to mention, because I'm kind of excited about this, it's my photo booth. Now I've given £15 for this small photo booth uh, and I'm amazed by it. Like it's the best £15 I've ever spent. It'd be worth £150. Why I've not bought one of these years ago, I'll never know. Like the quality, I uploaded some pictures of this build to my Instagram and Facebook yesterday. And the quality difference, it's just phenomenal. Like, don't get me wrong, it can be a bit unforgiving. I mean, if you're a builder out there that's cutting corners or stuff like that, then uh, you'll be spotted out, caught out. But I'm happy with this build anyway. Like I say, we'll do it for the photo booth and I'll, I'll show you a bit about this. I'm using the black background. It comes in red, green, yellow and blue. Oh, and also white. We can also change that. Anyway, forget about that. Let's talk about the build. Right, the build itself is a three layer laminate consisting all of G10. We've got battleship gray faces. We've got carbon fiber pins. And we've got a brown G10 core. And I went with purple spacers. I think that they contrast really well on the build. They look really good. And then obviously we have the brown stingray inlay. Oh, moving it out a little bit, it's catching. Loving the, the Stingray on this build. It matches in with the core perfectly. Let me see if I can increase the light a little bit. Yeah, it looks really, really good. I'll move the camera a bit further forward, like so. Really happy with it. I personally think, now this is the first one, the first Raptor I've done with only using the inlays at the top and not putting one or two at the bottom and i think it looks better just at the top to be honest so right hand hold pretty standard dimensions being 90 mil 24 mil tips optics slanted tips so i wanted to move the phone a little bit closer like that so i can you can still get a close-up in the light which is really good I think next time I use this photo booth, I'll raise it up. I've got the phone now on the tripod and it's as low as it can possibly go. I think if I raise the the photo booth up by maybe an inch or two, it'll be even better again. But yeah, really, really happy with that. It's a nice little build, matching beads. There's not more, more else I can say about it, I mean, how much better. Is this every time I put my hand on it and the mark comes up and I think it's a mark and it ain't. How much better is this photo booth for showing stuff in the light? You can really get a look. A little bit of whiting around the pins, but bare minimum. So I've finished the clips off. As you can see, I put a little bit of a slant on the edge of the frame in the clips. I just think it looks better than putting it completely flush together. Silly little things like that, I think, make all the difference. And obviously, on the back of the clip, I do the same because obviously the back of the, that band, that clip is going to pivot. It's going to go backwards, so you want to take the edge off of it. Do you know what I mean? Silly little things like that, you, you're better off rounding the corners of the tips here, inside the clip and on the frame to stop sharp edges. Silly little things that can be easily overlooked. I don't like, it, but they can be. I mean, even these little edges here are sanded to the same degree as the frame. And another thing I'll talk about is the bite on the clip. <clears throat> now, I, you put the, the banding on my frames around about between five and four and five mil thereabouts. But I think the majority of the bite is within two to three mil of the actual bolt. Right, that's where the whole strength is. You think once you've got your, your band in... This, this build is, once you've got your band in, that clip is pivoting away again. So the further the band comes out, the less grip you're getting. The grip isn't on the edge here. The grip is in here. So I don't think it makes a difference if you have these clips and you can put your band in 8 or 9 mil. I think the bite is still going to be 2 or 3 mil. Anything after that, you're losing pressure the closer you get to the tip. So I don't have any issues. I know some people say, oh, you should put divots in and all stuff like that. I've never needed it. And if other people do, they're doing something wrong. 
but yeah really happy with the color combination happy with that build i mean and i'm happy with my little display box cheers all and thank you for watching i'll be back soon with some more builds